What's going on, everybody? You tuned in to another edition of our No Time for Talk, This Time for Action podcast. Podcast is brought to you by veteransfighting9.com. Veteransfighting9.com. Obviously, you can get the merch. We'll have our updated merch on there uh, that we just purchased. We have tumblers, hats, um, also cooler bags as well as the merch that we've had on there of our other shirts and tumblers and stickers and all that stuff. Um, so today, we wanted to do something a little bit different, kind of do something a little bit different. Um, those people who are looking to start nonprofits, talking to you. Those people who you see the red tape in the system, you see things that you can change, Maybe your apartment organization and you say, man, there's, there's something we can be doing more. We're not hitting the mark. There is a population that we're missing. There's a population that I think I can help. There's a population I think I can serve. Uh, and I feel like this is a way that, another way that I can give back. There's a lot of people out there who will hold you over a barrel uh, to even try to get you to help them to, or, help you start a nonprofit. So I feel like this is uh, part of the way I can give back. Uh, it's definitely inexpensive. Uh, am I a lawyer? No, uh, I'm not you know, anybody who's you know, super, super versed, but these are just my trials and tribulations. Uh, so you don't have to get held over a barrel. So you can go out there and do what you want to do to help people. I've said this before and I'll say it again, uh, without nonprofits, man, this, this world will be in a world of hurt. Uh, nonprofits, people giving up their time, their free time. Uh, some of these people ain't getting paid to do incredible, incredible work. So I figured I'd get back, do something a little bit different uh, in the mix of my uh, veteran resources. So this will probably be about, I don't know, maybe five episodes or so. I'll have some different people come on, uh, some different people who know stuff about marketing, some different people who know stuff about uh, grant writing just different things uh, that I've seen in the game uh, and we'll go from there. So again, like I said, you want to start a nonprofit, I'm telling you right now, this is for you. Do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can. Um, so let's get into it. You want to start a nonprofit. You really want to start a nonprofit. You want to give up all of your free time to start a nonprofit to not get paid possibly, to you know, help people who need help and possibly sometimes take some crap from you know, people who are gonna give you crap because you know, maybe in this particular situation, you couldn't provide them assistance. You wanna start a nonprofit, yeah. Um, I assure you it's not that bad. I assure you it's not that bad. And I'm gonna help try to walk you through this uh, just as I did. Um, so number one thing that you wanna start off with is your market research. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? Who is in that market space? You know, I've heard it from different people, even in our organization. You know, if you're somebody who wants to help with domestic violence, if you're somebody who wants to help with teaching people how to um, do orders of protection or teaching people how to go about um, getting a divorce and do family plans. You're someone who wants to work with the homeless, who wants to work with veterans, who wants to work with children, uh, you know, get them in the sports. Whatever the case may be, who is in that market? Who's already doing that? How are you going to be different from that? How are you going to be different? Because I'm telling you, we all think that we have the greatest ideas in the world. And we think, yeah, you know, once I get started, everybody's going to want to come talk to me. Everybody's going to want to come join and be a part of this. Everybody's going to want to, you know, do this with me. And realistically, that, that probably won't be the case. Because I'm telling you now, not a whole lot of people who want to give up their time. It'll probably be you, you close other people. And you guys are going to be getting it done with the help of volunteers here and there until you can start to grow and get solid volunteers over time to help you out uh, as you grow to be bigger and stronger. But yeah, 
you're going to want to start with your market research. Where are you at? How is your operating? Who's doing the same thing? Who's competing with you? Um, who could be potentially out there competing with you for those donor dollars? Um, a real good place to start to kind of break this down is I went to the uh, SBA.gov and I started off with just the business plan. You could go to their website, they have a short business plan and they have uh, you know, uh, a larger business plan. So I'll go ahead and share the screen with you. So as you can see, um, this is just a sample they have it, but we can do a consulting business plan. Your executive summary, again, and a nonprofit world, what is the population that you're trying to serve? What is that you're going to give? What is per se your product? Who's your customer? Homeless veterans, veterans in crisis, veterans eating food, what was the case? What is the future? of your organization. You know, you gotta have a plan. You can't just go out there willy-nilly and say, I'm gonna start this up and you know, it's gonna work. It's not the case. Your mission statement, right? Have you put any thought into your mission statement of what it is, of what you're gonna tell people, what you're gonna put on your website? Principal members, like I said, who's gonna be the people with you? You know, who's going to be your president, your VP, your secretary? You need at least three in the state of Arizona to even start a nonprofit. And I think that may be uh, nationwide. Don't quote me on that, but uh, at least in Arizona, you have to have three. Um, your legal structure. Um, and like I said, your market research, your industry, who's in it, who's operating it, who's doing anything remotely close to it. And a detailed description of your customer. Why is your nonprofit? Well, what gives your nonprofit the advantage? What are you doing that nobody else is doing? These are the things that you're going to need to think about. Because again, you're going to think to yourself, sitting on the couch, doing what you're doing, like, man, I can, I can do this. I can do this fan. I, I can do this great. But you haven't really thought it all out. And I'm going to tell you the biggest mistake you can make is to not think about everything and write out everything and get opinions, answer questions before you start your nonprofit. There's a lot of nonprofits that fold within three years and you don't wanna be one of those. Regulations, are there any regulations to what you're doing? Again, what type of services are you gonna offer? You know, we offer food water, transportation, how much does that stuff cost? When we talk about our budget, have you even thought about your budget top to bottom? Top to bottom, from the smallest things you're gonna need, maybe a mailbox to how you're going to uh, track expenses, maybe something like QuickBooks, um, to travel, to getting around, uh, to paying for the specific items. Uh, how are you going to fund those items? Is it all just going to be grants? Probably not. If you think you're just going to get grants, you better, you better start thinking again. There's, there's other funding sources out there. <clears throat> Research and development. Again, for your particular cause, what research are you doing to improve whatever you think that situation is? <laughs> Marketing sales, just as I said, growth strategy, communicate with the customer, how to sell. Um, your marketing plan is gonna be huge and it's gonna be key. Um, you know, at least for me personally, I know starting this nonprofit, I guess I thought all in my head that, yeah, I'll be able to, to get grants and you know, I'll be able to get donations, but I was missing the how. Um, you know, how are you going to get those grants if you don't even know where those grants are? 
if you don't even know what those grants require, if you don't even know if you meet the minimum for the, the minimum years to get that grant, you know, who's going to even fund you to start off, right? Who, who's going to give you that initial start off funding? Have you thought about that? And again, you may be a person to say, oh yeah, everybody's going to donate to me. I'm telling you, probably won't be the case. So you're probably going to need different vehicles when you talk about a marketing plan. And we'll definitely get more into this as I, as I go over um, each one of these things in depth. But you're going to need different vehicles, you know, whether that's online marketing, uh, whether that's uh, going out to different events, whether that's relying on grants. You're going to have to have different vehicles to be able to generate revenue for your organization so you can do the things that you need to do. <clears throat> There's a lot of people who will hold you over a barrel to get your nonprofit started. Um, you know, I've seen crazy things in the space. You know, people charging us $3,000 just to even get a domain set up for a website. Not, not to do the actual website, but to get a domain set up for the website and then 3,000, you know, to actually put in some work on the website. Guys, the information's out there. The information is out there. You can look on YouTube right now and I can assure you, cause that's how I started my website um, before I started getting additional help, but you can get you a clean website just by looking up YouTube. I start a website and people will tell you how to do this stuff for free. If you're somebody who likes to, you know, who has a passion for selling things or creating things, there's somebody on YouTube, several people who can probably tell you how to start a Etsy site for free. There are people out there who can tell you how to do the things that you need to do. You just need to be able to research it. And I want you to research it because we need nonprofits out there. We need people like you. And some of you I've worked with, you know exactly who I'm talking to. You need to go out there and start these ideas. Give it a shot, give it a chance, or at least work with an organization who is doing it. There's a lot of red tape out there, a lot of red tape, and we can do something about it, but it's gonna take our free time. It's gonna take our free time. And I know a lot of people don't have a whole bunch of free time, but <clears throat> if not you, then who? If not you, then who? So again, uh, start this nonprofit, start your nonprofit. Uh, we're gonna go into a few things in a little bit more detail. In the next episodes, uh, I'll be talking about grant writing, grant funding. I'll have somebody come on and who's great in the space, uh, who knows the wording that you need, uh, who can tell you, you know, exactly what you need for concept proposals and things like that to explain it in a much more clear way, uh, who can convey it to you so you can understand what you need to put into these grants. I'll have somebody come on uh, who's uh, great at marketing, who can talk to you about the different avenues of, of marketing and the different aspects and the different vehicles that you can use. And maybe I'll just go live with it. You know, I'll get all these people in the room. And if you're somebody who wants to start a nonprofit, hey, check out these videos. These videos are free. I'm not charging anybody anything for these. Um, these are just, again, for anybody or you veterans out there who are sick and tired of being sick and tired because, you know, there's obviously issues with uh, red tape and things like that. Hey, I'm just talk about it, man. Be about it. Nobody thought that I was going to start uh, veterans five to nine. Uh, there were, you know, like I said, people trying to charge me crazy amounts. People trying to tell me, oh, you need to, you know, do this. And, you know, no, uh, hey, you can do it. You can absolutely do it. So, with that being said, like I said, I'll have some different episodes. I have some different people on. Um, it'll be about a four or five uh, different episodes. Uh, outside my normal uh, veterans research and, and veteran uh, topics, because I want people to understand that you can do this. People that I've assisted, you can do this. You can do it. Um, I can help you if you need help. So again, this is Marcus, Veterans 5 to 9, no time for talk. 
just time for action.